I love how these itty bitty little guys don't change their expression at all. They're just a black ball with an eye. That's it. Get the hell out of here. Stupid. Stupid McStupidson. It's coming from the guy that just called you, Stupid McStupidson. Stupidson. Stupidson. Douche. I haven't really gotten that, the ow people that use douche as a sound effect. Like, and then he was like, douche! I, it's like, how is that even- oh, oh, oh! I remember seeing this when I played the game a while back. Like, back when our- I didn't even have a TV in my room. Back when, uh... Uh, the GameCube was on the porch, and I constantly wanted to shove my brother off the porch. And for any of you wondering, it's not like a front porch. Um, well, it, it's a front porch, but it's like a closed porch. So for those of you who think we can actually, that we actually put a TV and a GameCube on a patio, no, that's, that sounds completely different. Uh, oh, this is most certainly a treasure chart. And if it's rupees, I'm going to have to do the uh, NCS screen. Oh, okay, it's a joy pendant. I didn't mention those stipulations. Yo, dog, I heard you like stipulations, so in, uh, Epic and Uber Epic, I put in a couple of stipulations in at once. And if you know what Mario World hack I'm referring to when I say that, you are awesome. I haven't personally played that, but I've seen it played by Raukow and by, uh, SSOHPKC, both really, really awesome LPers. Should check them both out. Although I should warn you, uh, SSOHPKC doesn't care if- WHOA! If- you don't like what he's saying. I don't think that does anything. No, it doesn't. I love the, uh, mini boss music. Come on, ugly. Come on! Hey! Where's the little, uh, action command? Oh. God. I have not played this against this boss, this mini-boss, for a very long time. <laughs> Dude, you're missing a wing. Oh, man, why'd you gotta do that? Come on, the sprite limits, man, you can't do that. I didn't bother trying to get those pesky little boogers off of me, because I knew that uh, once I killed the mini-boss, they would all die. They would all die. Hey, a golden feather. I didn't know you could get golden feathers from bugs. They don't have feathers. In fact, I've, I've never really been a big fan of zoology. I'm more in the astronomy and physics department, but I have a vague understanding of zoology and biology. Oh my god, it's the boomerang! Uh, but yeah, the boomerang in this game works just like it does in Ocarina of Time, only better because, uh, I don't know. I guess mostly just because it'll tell you what it can target. Uh, do 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 okay. So we need to hit both of those targets. It works much like the grappling beam, er, grappling beam, god it. Actually, come to think of it, I just realized... I'm not sure, again, about the whole Metroid 2 thing, but I know that in Super Metroid, that was when the grappling beam was possibly kinda sorta introduced. Oh no! Bastard, just try to eat me! Come on. Come on. Yes, I did just seriously make a sound effect. I seriously did just make an SFX. It's too bad that the, uh... Uh, the Deku Flowers, or whatever those things are called... Oh yeah, that's right, the uh, boomerang will almost instantly kill these guys. Wait, what? From here, that just looks so awkward. Does anyone else... Like, from up here, it looks normal, but from here, it looks really, really weird. Like, his shadow is... That's because... Oh. Not very, uh, accurate there. Huh. 
Whatever. Oh boy. Boomerang practice. Yeah, with these things, you have to aim for the vines instead of the uh, actual nuts. Don't aim for the nuts. Aim for the vine. Um... Her Herkadurka? What am I missing here? Oh, I think I fly across using my Deku Flower. Yeah, I definitely fly, fly, fly across fly across using my Deku Flower. I don't know why I just did a stationary barrel roll. Another Joy Pendant! Freaking fantastic! Okay, I need one more piece of heart. <laughs> Alright, now back in the main room, what we have to do is hit all of these vines with the boomerang and kapalooey. The thing will fall beneath the main room into this weird little room. And I'm not sure what's down there, but uh, there is a door right there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this door. Oh, biatch. Come on, open up. Thank you. Oh my god! Ah, oh, lords! <laughs> Bitch, please! Uh, five bucks says rupees! Got the dungeon map, the compass, the boomerang. Oh, it's a joy pendant. See, I told you they put like over nine thousand of these thi uh, of these things in the dungeon. Dungeons. Never. I think this way actually leads to the boss, and we obviously don't have the boss key. Yeah, there it is. Uh, where's there's the pot? I need a thing. Oh. Okay. Boom. Boom. Here we go. Okay. So we now have all three of the, uh, pots in order. So that just leads- that- this way just leads to the boss. And a joy pendant, I guess. So let's just head down into that, uh, room beneath the main room. Yo dog, I heard you like room, so I put a room beneath your room, so wait a second, that's not the reference. Uh Oh, Curse Clash. Yes. Okay, here we are. The door. Um, if you want to get up, basically what you'll do is you do that, and then you'll hop in this flower, spread out your Deku Leaf, and that turbine will push you up and back into the main room. But for now, let's just pretend that we're cut off. Oh, best part about the boomerang is when it targets multiple enemies. So you can target these little bastards. And usually they'll kill, the boomerang will kill more than you target. Because think about it, to hit the ones that you've targeted, it will probably have to go through the ones that you didn't target. Smart move, Link. Pro move right there. Jeez, that deserves to go in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most brilliant move. And these things, I don't know what they do to you, I just like, I just, just kill them. Oh yeah, and you can use your boomerang on these little jerks. Wow, that was actually kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know what they do to you, but after having... I've had experiences with enemies shaped like hands before. Hint, hint, wall master, floor master. And, uh... Soon to be those shadow claw things in one of the future dungeons that'll freak you the hell out. And then again, I guess that whole dungeon's based upon trying to freak you the fuck out. At least this water doesn't kill us very, very slowly. Ah, oh, great, we got Octo. Ah, that was close. Alright, what's in here? Bonus room! I really don't think it's a bonus room. Oh yeah, that's what it want the boomerang one hit kills. Is the uh Deku Baba plants. Kills those guys right away.
kill them all? Good. Also, you can pick away- pick up far away items with this thing. So, well, the, the thing is, you never- I don't think you really use the boomerang to pick up any- a piece of heart at all. There we go. Which is a shame, because that was one of my- I don't know why, but that was just one of my favorite pieces of heart in Ocarina of Time to get. Was the one where you had to do, uh, that one thing. What am I- okay, I see. Basically, we need to get this lift over here. I'm pretty sure this is for a small key, but it may be for a treasure chart, I'm not sure. And basically what we need to do is we need to take a bomb and toss it down that hole. I'll let you uh, say your sexual innuendos while you're... I'll go ahead and give you guys a second to uh, s uh, talk about your the sexual innuendos. But um, once you finally do that, it'll blow up the retarded little plant guy that's keeping you from actually getting into the treasure box. Which, I don't know what's in there. Oh, tre I guess treasure charts do have this type of uh, sortie with it. I don't even know if I said that right, but it does have this sort of deal going on with it. But yeah, this uh, little bonus path, I guess, is just for uh, is for a treasure chart. There we are. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. I gotta say, this is one of my more relaxed uh, going throughs of a dungeon that I've had in a while. I mean, with the well, just looking back upon all the Zelda dungeons that I've done... Let's see, uh, Great Deku Tree, I was nervous about it being my first, uh, LP recorded with the Dazzle. Um... Not Dragon Roost Cavern, but, uh, Dodungo's Cavern. Oh, great. I'm having terrible flashbacks to that Demon Star, or Shine Sprite from Mario Sunshine. That game is awesome, but the, some of the stuff in there is just... WHY?! DICK! Shoot me! Shoot me one more time! I dare you! Bastards. And no, you can't swim this whole length. Because, first of all, the Octo are new way, and second of all, uh, the ledge is far too tall for a little old Link to climb onto. I'm pretty sure there are more of those creepy ass pedo hands. I still don't trust those things. They're like surprise butt sex. I mean, come on. That's just exactly what they scream. It's just like, Whoa! and then they'll hurt you. BOSS KEY! Actually, I haven't found the, uh, other... M. No. I haven't found the other treasure chart. Uh, now this tree is going to get in your way, and the boomerang will hit the targets that you target in order of when you target them. So you basically just need to manipulate how you target them so that it hits the switches, but not the tree. Then this will open up, and you just fall down here, and get the boss key. And it's obviously the boss key, because, um... I said so. And so did the game. So now that we have the boss key... Uh, we can go into the boss chamber. Obviously, but I'm going to have to go backwards. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and backtrack through the dungeon so I can grab the other treasure chart. Pretty sure it's in one of the first few rooms of the dungeon. Alright, let's get out of here. Fuck.